guys welcome back to my channel Kajirata online in this video I'm going to give you an idea about how you can set it up a um, particulate measurement system or particulate measurement sensor named as PMS A003 with the Arduino Uno so the purpose of this video is basically to give you an idea and give you some insight overview of this particular sensor which I'm going to share with you later on so if you can see over here, I got a sensor named as PMS, um, PMS A, A stand for ambient, and then this is a very small sensor. If you can see over here, it is being protected by this uh, bluish plastics, and then it is cost me around approximate uh, more than ten dollars, but less than fifteen dollars or approximately fifty ringgit. This one is come with the connector over here. If you can see, it is very small connector. And then uh, the connector is already being modified uh, DIY basis on the purpose of this um, experiment. And then it's require at least three main connection um, using the serial interface with the Arduino Uno. So if you can see over here, I got Arduino Uno and then I got the PMS A003. This one is capable of monitoring PM1, PM2.5, PM10, PM0.3, PM0.5 and so on and so forth. So let us begin to understand about the process of setting up this module. And then we are going to learn also how you want to program it so that you can use for your project. Okay, so first of all, let us begin about this particulate measurement sensor named as PMS. A003 so they have a pin assignment as follows so you can just uh, follow it through if you want to buy this one make sure that your supplier or your seller also give you the connector over here so the basic pin out will be like this all right so the first one the pin is being read as follows so this is the first pin on the top left corner over there it is the first pin this one is the, the, the down uh, of that particular pin is the second pin uh, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. So let me just share with you the uh, data sheet of this particular sensor so that you can appreciate more about the pin layout. Uh, uh, actually, a very robust sensor. And then uh, they have a manual also. I attach the manual inside the descriptions of this video so that you can download it freely on my GitHub page. And then uh, you can see the working principle is basically using a light scattering uh, measuring cavity. So light scattering measuring cavity using the MIE theory so it is a very complicated theory uh, but if you are interested to learn more about the MIE theory please have a look uh, into the description of this video also but the basis is um, we have a laser source where the laser are actually looking forward into the scattering images of the air that consists of a multiple sizes in terms of the particulate and those sizes are being measured using the electric uh, electrical signals and then they have some amplifier circuit and so on and then they translate accordingly into the microprocessor and then send out as a digital signal so this digital signal are then going to be communicate with our Arduino Uno to make the interpretation and then come up with uh, approximate uh, pollutants of being measured so the effective range is basically um, for the 2.5 standards and then we have a maximum range as follows Alright, so let us jump through into the important connection. Okay, so this is the pin out layout. Is if you can uh, remember the way that I showed to you before, it is uh, being positioned in such a way like this. Okay, so you must uh, note that this is the first pin. Okay, together um, as follows in this particular diagram. So what you need to connect is basically the VCC into your five volt because it withdraw approximate five volt. Um, consumption of power because they have the internal uh, pump that are going to regulate the air being inserted into the light scattering chamber and then you are going to insert also the pin tree with the ground so the pin tree is basically uh, positioned in this area okay so this is the pin one as I being highlighted to you now so this is the pin one on the top here and then this is the pin two and then this is the pin three so basically this is the VCC okay and then on the left side of this particular uh, view is the VCC and then the next pin that you might want to consider to communicate or to connect with is the RX 
and also the TX. So the um, seventh pin, or we call it uh, the pin number seven, will be positioned at here. This is uh, pin number one, pin number three. Okay, so this is the pin number five, and then this is the pin number seven, and then this is the pin number nine. So it's very easy. You can just um, follow me through. So this is the first pin. You connect here with the five volt. You connect here with the ground, and then you connect this one with the um, another wire. This is correspond to the seventh pin, and then this is correspond to the um, ninth pin, which is the pin number nine and pin number seven. So the pin number seven is are going to be connected at the RX, and then the pin number nine are going to be connected at the TX. So remember, the RX and TX is where we want to communicate uh, with our um, Arduino Uno. Okay, let me just uh, giving you an idea again. Okay, so this is the pin number seven um, will be connected at the TX, and then the pin number nine are going to be connected in our Arduino at the RX. So it must be uh, changed interchangeably. So that it can communicate uh, directly with our Arduino setup. So this is the overview of the spin layout. So generally speaking, based on my experience of using this sensor, it's very simple. I uh, personally did not require any additional pin. In fact, there is um, four pins, but actually I can communicate with my Arduino to give the feedback of the sensor by utilizing only three pin because the RX and EX sometimes are not um, useful in terms of just receiving a data already being interpreted by this particular sensor. Okay, so um, to make my life easier for your information ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share with you the idea of uh, setting up this uh, particular adapter. So the adapter is being attached together with the sensor. So when you buy the sensor, make sure that you have the adapter also. I currently have uh, difficulty to find the replacement of this uh, particular adapter and then there are also some other adapter that are available that you can buy straight away and that particular adapter are very useful because they are already having a pin out that are being compatible with our normal jumper wire over here you can also bought that one or you buy this sensor together with those adapter so let me give you an idea what is the adapter uh, meant for my explanation over here pms um, A003 adapter okay so the idea of the adapter will be like this so please make sure that if you uh, want to interface with this um, sensor make sure that you, you bought also something like this which is um, the sensor and also together with the adapter okay you, around three to four dollars you can uh, bought one because it is having the small adapter over here that you can uh, patch it on uh, straight away on your uh, sensor module so like this so you, if you can imagine so this is my uh, adapter let's say so you can just patch it down like that okay by patching it down like that it's already communicate uh, together with the pin assignment that are correspond to this uh, four wires over here and then these four wires are going to be interfaced with our Arduino uh, later on because of this experiment uh, for your information I also uh, use this kind of cable type uh, the, the reason is because we want to attach it firmly so that the communication can be um, happening very accurate and no uh, detaching of the male and female header over there. Gentlemen, after you are going to set it up this sensor and attach it to your adapter. So in my case, I already um, put it on the special adapter as given by the seller. So the next step, I'm going to connect my PMSA003 with my Arduino Uno. So just plug in the 5V and also ground into the 5V and ground of your Arduino Uno. The color over here is actually for 5V and then this one is for the ground. And then it is also good to note that um, using the external power supply might be very good idea also to ensure the stability of the sensor but in this uh, setup i'm just going to robust it explain and then uh, the blue color here is actually the tx the tx from my arduino and then the uh, green color here is actually the rx okay so i'm going to attach it at the pin number two i'm going to use the soft serial inside the arduino sketch so um, if anything happen, uh, probably maybe you have some difficulty in terms of um, your devices or your sensor cannot be detected. You might want to change it uh, to your RX and TX. Uh, perhaps there are some change in 
the sketch and also the map of it. Alright, so let us go into the coding part of this discussion. So if you can see over here, I got uh, installed already and then you can also search and install this Adafruit underscore PM25 which is we are going to use the Adafruit PM2.5 uh, AQI sensor which is already being installed and after you install all these things, make sure that you comment it uh, accordingly. So uh, if you read the article inside the Adafruit website, the original PM2.5 uh, AQI um, written by the Adafruit consists of the I2C connection but of course in our setup we are going to use the standard uh, serial communication so therefore I'm going to use this function include uh, software dot uh, software serial dot h uh, proceed with the software serial pm serial 2 and 3 so this is digital pin number 2 and 3 correspond to the rx and tx pin and then I'm going to uh, conduct another command over here, PM serial begin 9600. And then we are going to observe the output from our serial monitor. And then I'm going to use this function, the third function, and then the other things I'm going to be uh, commenting it out. Because there are some versions of PMSA003i. Uh, so I is for the I square C connection. Uh, just to let you know, the there are some sort of uh, differences in terms of the model and so on. Okay, so without further ado, let us just uh, proceed with the tools and then uh, we are going to upload the code inside our Arduino Uno. And then we are going to um, find out the output or the example of this code uh, based on this particular sketch. You can modify the sketch and I'm going to do that later on in our future review of this project because this is just a robust setup using the PMSA uh, 003 uh, Particulate Measurement Sensor to detect the particulate measures inside my room. So the uploading is done and then uh, we hope that the compilations did not occur any error and we shall open our serial monitor after this. Okay, so done uploading from our Arduino Uno site. This sketch is actually can be found after you install the Adafruit PM 2.5 AQI. You can just go to the examples and then proceed with the, with the sketch example given by the Adafruit. This is the example of Adafruit uh, PM25 AQI sensor. So you got the PM25 uh, underscore test. So this is the original sketch and then it's being modified successfully. And then we can open our serial monitor and then change our board rate over here. Okay. So this is the very good example of uh, not, detect not detectable issues. So don't worry about this because we can uh, mitigate this uh, set up by just uh, doing some sort of um, adjustment so I might, I might want to adjust the adapter over here because this is um, happened due to the fact that the adapter uh, probably not being uh, positioned in the correct manner or the adapter are loosened up here and there uh, therefore I'm, I might want to adjust this cable type so that it's uh, firmly attached with the sensor over here Okay. So after uh, doing tweaking here and there, so now our sensor are ready to um, capture the air quality. So let me just share with you the output of the serial monitor. So this is the example of the output given by the Adafruit sketch and then uh, attach with our serial port and communicate uh, using the TX from the sensor to our um, Arduino Uno. So if you can see we got the particle count or particulate matter uh, 13, 20 and 22. So this is the example of how many uh, particles are going to be samples per 0 0.1 liter of air. So this one is in microgram per meter cube of air. So if you can see uh, my room is considered uh, quite um, clean uh, when compared to the outside condition of course because they are also raining uh, during this time of uh, recording and then we can uh, also uh, insert the show time just to give you an idea about how these um, sensor are going to capture each uh, second uh, with the delay of one second so that is the um, final showdown and also the example of using this PMSA double uh, zero three and then if you find out that uh, this one this is the sensor the sensor got the opening over here so the PMA PMSA A is actually indicated of the ambient so this sensor actually can be used outside the 
um, outdoor environment to capture the quality of air outside our house okay and then we can make a calibration um, and further understand what kind of pattern and so on which is I'm going to explain it later on in the future video our setup and then this is our output from the PMSA double uh, zero uh, three so hopefully you find out that this video is very helpful if you think that this video is very helpful to you uh, please do comment and then uh, help me with this three click like share and the most important thing is subscribe so that you will not miss any uh, future updates about the air quality function and um, explorations of this particular sensor okay so uh, please do comment down there what uh, you expect from the future explanations of this uh, AQI sensor I may plan to do a lot of review um, with uh, regard of using this PMS uh, A003 because the air quality is one of my favorite topics uh, to discuss and share with the world okay until then see you again next time thank you for watching and bye bye